And the last is going to be brief. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, all the organizers and uh, especially Ellen and Janis for their very well cooperation. Furthermore, I would also like to thank Maria Janis, who was my companion during a part of my journey in the regional centers of Paris. Our discussions, our continuous travels, running from the train to the metro and from the metro to the bus, as well as your camera lens that documented the project was a great experience for me. Well, thank you, Maria. And uh, as you can see, we are taking pictures. The first thought about the project through the roadworks was to create a presentation at the University of Amiens and get students in, involved uh, with, in the process of preparing the exhibition. But finally, I thought of other alter another alternative solution that could take another form, the form that would certainly differ from that of a typical exhibition. I will present you very briefly the process of this project, a process which is entirely connected with the concept of roadworks. At first, I theoretically worked with the first stage of the concept concept of center and periphery that I, I chose as an original action field, namely France's regional cultural centers and especially those situated in the outer periphery of Paris, which are 10 times larger in population than the capital. Although there are no acknowledged borders in the conventional sense, there is, however, a division between the center and the, and the periphery, even though they are situated only a few minutes away from the railroad which separates them. This is because the railroad of Paris creates an unintentional demarcation line as a kind of an uninhabited, um, uninhabited zone even though the centers that are situated in the periphery of Paris are not so far from the center of the city, neither are they inaccessible or isolated. They appear to the inhabitants of the capital that they are a long way away. In fact, even crossing the ring road is considered by them making a big effort. For the exhibition, l'outre forêt, beyond the forest, as we will see further on, the organizers are urging potential visitors to find the courage to cross the ring road. By the way, one could say the same thing for cyclists. People from the dossier, there, there are uh, some people here um, ago, don't easily come to Limassol, even if Professor Spiegel is present. <laughs> of course, let me point out here that if one takes a few minutes to look at the urban plan of Paris, he will realize that the city is separated from the periphery with two ring roads, the inner and outer peripheral road or, and the inner and outer ring road. In between the two ring roads, there is an undetermined zone where one can encounter almost anything from settlements to homeless, even garbage. An art lover, accustomed to the French galleries of the capital, needs a lot of courage, even to think of crossing this so-called zone. And once he does, such a deed may be considered nothing less than a great achievement. So, okay. In the process of thinking and preparing this project, I had long talks with art critic and curator Joël Gouris regarding his own project, L'Outre Forêt, Beyond the Forest, the concept of which, of which was close to mine. Having talked to him about my own project through the roadworks, I'm more than happy to present to you Joël project, Beyond the Forest, which proposes, and in fact, urging us to pass the ring road in order to see that the unknown is not so unknown as we may, be, as we may think. I would like at this point 
tell you just a few words about the Earth's activity, the pretty and the art pretty, and uh, his um, process of uh, curator and artist is that uh, there is no one day without visiting an exhibition. So in one year, maybe he visits uh, 3,000 exhibitions, something like that, in Trento. So is someone um, uh, is crossing uh, borders um, uh, always. Always is, is, um, is crossing borders. So his project, Utko Forêt, is a series of exhibitions hosted in building 6B in the suburb of Saint Denis, which is well known for its multicultural identity and poverty and inhabited mostly by migrant workers. It is in the same time a place constantly making efforts to upgrade, to improve. Here is how the organizers describe the project. I quote, Loup de Forêt, beyond the forest, was named after an area of northern Alsace, which is cut off from the rest of the country by a very dense barrier of trees. When in the past the forest could not be easily crossed on foot or on horseback, this frontier forest region had the reputation of being dangerous and injured and even impossible. The unseen region that lies beyond the forest was shrouded in mystery. In fact, only a handful of people would venture to cross it in order to bring evidence of what light beyond. 6B today embodies the exotic character of this region because of the eccentricity of, it, of its location. Therefore, we could say that the Lutro Forest, beyond the forest, designates an area beyond the center, the location of which still remains unknown. We invite you to overcome the obstacles and the distances in order to get elsewhere. Therefore, armed with courage and bravery, you are asked, asked, asked to cross the rain road to see a magical place, a wonderful uh, place, and the vast panorama it offers, and find out for yourself how this affects the scope of our perceptions. In a modesty, in suggesting you, for you to move towards Sandy, shows our intention to present through this series of exhibitions the very existence of a place, of a particular collective, even political, if you wish, project. End of quotation. And now I come back to my own project. A project that uh, puts immediacy at the center of the process. After much thought and discussion with a number of people, who are active both in the center and the periphery, so-called at center and periphery, I decided to work on my own without the involvement of third parties. Nevertheless, I would like to thank the uh, LN, uh, who after our long discussions and having explained to her the parameters of the project, was thrilled with the idea and gave me the green light for the From Hand to Hand project. So I'm in a hurry. Yeah, to show some image from uh, the uh, ring road around Paris. And the 6B building, uh, the Outre Forêt uh, exhibition. way of communication transmission as a social chain even if events without diminishing its form and capacity. The title from hand to hand implies the direct manual exchange of a not very the postcard, this one, uh, on the back of which is printed in a number of 
languages, the question, what does the phrase through the roadblocks mean to you? The poster is delivered personally by the curator from time to time, thus forming a link that may be seen as both a real and symbolic chain between the participants. The objective <coughs> is to create a mental as well as recorded mapping documenting the postal's circulation, something which will potentially uh, establish a commonality between the participants. Because of the minor nature and intimacy of this project, the element of slow time comes into operation, which is a direct avoidance of the media technology that is so pervasive in our society, society including the art world. A form of resistance Maybe. Without using mediators, from hand to hand, from hand to hand, overcomes the use. Um, it's okay. It's okay. With, uh, uh, from hand to hand, overcomes the use of any third parties, making communication and exchange a personal and direct process. Instead of a short-term conventional institution. A dynamic shift from space to space and from person to person is established. Uh, uh, not very long, eh? but I have to say that proximity is not so evident and natural as we could think. And one needs courage to approach people and talk about a project which is not in his concerns. There is a lot of borders to cross in order to come in relation with the others. So I went to many regional centers and personally spoke about the Through the Roadblocks project, creating a kind of immaterial presentation. The immediacy of the presentation without the intervention of another person puts great emphasis on communication without barriers of any kind and highlights the importance of the life, presence, and the distribution of a particular energy from person to person. The project brings back in a very dynamic and direct way the relational process. Even though the idea is not new, it adapts to the particular conditions of today. This is a work in progress which includes the notion of time and duration and could even potentially continue uh, into infinity. The important element is the concept of appointment, an appointment based on accidental meetings, like to show some appointment in great objects, and is recording in time and space. For each recipient of a poster, the name, the day, and the time, as well as the place that it was delivered, are recorded. Following a conversation between the curator and the recipient, a photograph records this transfer from hand to hand. In this way, the total number of these delivery points creates a mental personal map. Special attention will be given to the collection of, of archival material uh, comprising of the participants, testimonies, and experiences. This documentation is really an essential component of this project. If I have time, from this uh, uh, stand, just like uh, let just uh, tell some uh, observations concerning this periphery, this uh, um, the regional centers are not directed so much to the residents of the region for which they were originally and in a utopian way designed. They organized similar exhibition to those of the center, but the majority of the visitors are the same as those we usually see in galleries and museums in Paris. That's incredible also. Quite often the residents of the region have no idea where these centers are and they cannot give them directions how to get there when you ask them, even though this may be situated a few minutes from there. We experienced that with, uh, with Maria. So 
so it's important to realize the strong relativity of the concept of the periphery and the center. Every center has its periphery, and every periphery has its center and its periphery. Apart from, from the very interesting and rich personal experience uh, from this uh, project, also consider very important to the fact that I, I have had the opportunity to present to you the uh, regional project Route for Forêt. And it's there. <coughs> even though we have not as yet reached any final conclusions, because the project is still going on, we could say that one important factor is that of the need for returns immediacy uh, proximity, an issue which, which has concerned and still concerns many contemporary artists. At this point, I would like to clarify that even though the area of the project is primarily the regional centers of Paris, it is certainly not limited to them. Wherever I may find myself I always carry with me the postcards so that as soon as I have the opportunity to be able to give how to handle and to begin the discussion about the project. In fact, this is exactly what I'm going to do with any of you that I have not as yet given postcards <laughs> so that you too can become members of this large team of Thank you. We've got about uh, five minutes of questions. Uh, 
so it's um, something that, that uh, starts now. Uh, I think that I will continue. I'm very thirsty, absolutely, <coughs> about this. Thank you very much.